Dirty Projectors has a sound like no other. They're very unique. I've never heard anything even close to sounding like the Dirty Projectors. Uh, and they just have such fascinating sounds. Um, a lot of dissonance in their guitar and in their vocals and very odd rhythms and harmonies. I truly don't know how how they think of these things when they're writing their songs. Uh, but the female vocalists who are no longer in the band, they now have a different group of female vocalists in the band, but those vocalists really give the band their sound. Uh, the lead singer, who is male, I, th I think he's the primary songwriter. Um, his sound is, is truly not the Dirty Projectors without these female voices, and they really seemingly achieve the impossible. Their harmonies are so intricate and difficult to achieve, and they really, like, their voices bounce around so quickly, and their interval jumps are very impressive, um, and just what they can do together, it's just amazing. And a really good example of that is the song Beautiful Mother, that is just the two women singing, and it's very impressive. It's not, it's not for everybody, it's got a kind of a strange sound. It's incredible what they can do with their voices. So... Very cool band, very interesting to see live. I've seen them twice. A really unique and interesting album opener for the album Bitta Orca. Up next, I have a song by Beck. Beck has done quite a lot of morphing himself over the years, similar to Radiohead, where a lot of his, his albums are just completely different and uh, all have a really new sound. Um, I'm playing a song off of Odile, an um, older album, uh, and the song is called Devil's Haircut. And it's a really fun song. I really like it. And it's a little bit shocking. Um, so let's see if you can figure out what I'm talking about before I talk about it. Uh, here is Devil's Haircut. <laughs> 